my dear IHC aspirants uh, who are preparing for the year 2025, a very important, very important strategy for getting a safe score. How much is the safe score? What are the important chapters? And what timing should be given for every question along with subject wise strategy and preparation, especially for the last few days? Because, you know, this is a, a very different video. I'll tell you why uh, this is so important this year. Until last year, maybe this video wouldn't have made sense because of the competition. But this year, you will see this video is very, very important for every, every J2025 aspirant. So quickly smash that like button in case you have forgotten to do so because then YouTube will understand you're preparing for the ISER aptitude test and will show you more such videos. Thank you for liking my dear students. This is your Captain Shreyas and I've been teaching training for more than 13 years and here I am for your batch, the 2025 batch, last few weeks of your preparation and hopefully very soon you will be inside one of the most premier institutes in the country. So to start off with, my dear students, there are many ISERs across the country and ISER basically stands for your Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Now, usually those kind of students who have a research aptitude or who want to go in pure sciences or who want to go in applied sciences or who want to not worry about doing MBA degrees or do not want to start their business or you know things like that and you want to take up a research job or a professor job or a scientist job or you want to go into applied engineering jobs so those things definitely you should be looking at ISER and obviously it is at par with IITs it has got the premier tag just like the brand value of IIT so you get the same level of importance okay it's just that the fields are different just like for MBBS you have AIMS similarly for engineering you have IITs so for research you have ISC and ISERs now there are some ISERs which are really famous like the ISER Pune, ISER Kolkata and all of that uh, so the campuses are amazing you got all the facilities, you got all the research equipment, you have very well-trained uh, teachers, professors with high research aptitude. The placements is something which you should never look at either because usually the students go for higher education. In, in fact, many students go for PhDs or go into the R&D development, uh, you know, and then they secure a career. So understand this is a uh, a different kind of an institute and your outlook should also be a very uh, research one or else you will probably not like it okay so beautiful campuses it's got all the facilities hostel wise the life is good people are good the, you know the crowd is good you will understand why i'm telling it uh, in a bit hold on okay so it is conducted by ISER. the iat iat stands for ISER aptitude test okay for getting admission into ISER. the exam mode is completely computer based and the paper will be in English or Hindi, depending on what you opt for. Registrations have closed. Types of questions will be completely MCQs, no integer type or no subjective type. Direct MCQ, single correct options, no, MC, no multiple correct options. There are totally 60 questions. Yes, there is biology also. Biology, I'll tell you about it. Even though you might not have taken PCB or PCMB, still you will be able to attempt it. The level is low. Okay, just like there used to be something called as a KVPY exam, uh, like the KVPY SA, SX, that kind of, uh, you know, level is there. So uh, this was there long time back. Now KVPY exams have stopped. Anyways, coming back, physics 15, chemistry 15, maths 15 and bio 15. So totally 60 questions are there and you have to complete those 60 questions in three hours. So what is the natural thought that comes in your mind when, when you compare it with J, my dear students? When you compare it with J, J has 75 questions and 3 hours. This has 60 questions, 3 hours and that too it has bio, bio which is simple. So, if you think about it, the main questions that you will have to solve is physics, chemistry, maths which is 45 questions. So, 45 questions, 3 hours. What does it tell you? The first thought that comes to your mind. Less questions, more time means difficulty is obviously higher. Got it? As simple as that. It is not an easy exam like mains. So if you think I got 99 percentile in mains, I can do this exam very easily. You are wrong. Okay. The the approach, the strategy, the timing, the you know the way, the model of questions, everything that you have to think will be completely different. Now I'll tell you why this video is important for this year. 
see last two years the registrations were in the range of 35000 to 40000 but the awareness increased students want to go into better colleges many students want to do research okay so whatever reasons are there awareness a good coaching facilities okay and in general the scope for research so you can see the tremendous increase that, that is the estimated number of registrations these are not official estimated is that around 1.5 lakh students are writing this exam now do you also remember how many students qualify je means roughly around the same number who are going to write you know the iit exam roughly around 1.7 to 1.8 lakh students write the je advanced exam so the number is same that means the same competition which you have in je advanced more or less will be writing it because yeah for for writing iit you don't have to qualify je means but you can expect most of the crowd will be very very similar especially at the top level where you know the immense competition will be there now although the number might not seem very huge but the seats is something which you should look at that's why it is extremely competitive plus it's tougher than je means there are barely two and a half thousand or 2363 seats okay in all isers combined together now if you take the top isers obviously you will uh, barely have some 2 300 seats or 500 seats if you are targeting those top iser institutes got it okay now what is the safe score well the safe score is somewhere between 180 to 190 although at 160 170 you might secure you know the lower isers or even at 150 you might secure the lower isers but you know it is said that if you want the top branches top isers okay then at least 180 to 190 you should score if you are about 200 it is very good okay out of 240 yeah it is out of 240 i'll show you the exact nature of the exam now this is the most important slide smash the like button guys for this particular part if you have forgotten do that right now maths 15 physics 15 chemistry 15 bio 15 totally how many 60 questions done sorted okay 15 15 15 each biology is also there some people leave out biology but then securing the best branch top iser will be very difficult in fact near to impossible so you will have to give some bio questions okay i'll tell you the important chapters don't worry now each question carries how many marks four marks so 15 fours are 60 got it 60 60 60 60 four subjects physics chemistry biology maths so 60 fours are yes 240 marks so out of 240 marks how much should you score you should score 180 to 190 is this absolutely clear for a safe score everyone absolutely clear what is the safe score for i'm telling you i'm telling you exactly that now will you be able to attempt all the 60 questions obviously not but how much is the bare minimum so that you get the safe score so let's say in mathematics you are uh, leave two questions 13 questions you attempt and i have taken the same strategy in all the subjects but now this can change from person to person if somebody's maths is strong he might attempt all 15 questions somebody's biology is strong you might attempt 15 questions of biology it's completely up to you okay you can reduce the number in some other subjects but on an average you should solve how many questions per subject 13 if you solve 15 here you have the liberty of skipping two questions in some other subjects so maybe if you are strong at maths you solve 15 and maybe you are not so good at biology you can solve 11 questions maybe you are strong at physics and mathematics so you solve 15 and 15 here then you can solve nine questions in biology got my point so depending on where your strength and weakness is accordingly adjust the strategy i'm giving you a generic strategy just so that you guys get good marks but see guys there is negative marking here negative one marks which means what will happen not everything that you attempt will be correct so i'm assuming that you have prepared smartly enough and i will show you the strategy also and you do one mistake out of the 13 questions so one question wrong so 12 questions correct same thing here 12 correct one wrong 12 correct one wrong 12 correct one wrong so totally 48 questions you have attempted correctly and four questions are wrong got my point four questions are wrong that is the fair enough assumption else guys if you are saying no sir how can i get such a good accuracy sir i will attempt uh, you know all the questions and i'll get 20, 20 questions wrong then it is not possible to crack either as simple as that okay how much time this is very important maths questions usually tough so give 60 minutes physics are also tough questions only conceptual not very tough so 50 minutes chemistry you can do it more or less at least the inorganic and some of the uh, you know in uh, organic part so you will take 40 minutes 
बालाजी ट्वेंटी मिनट दे आर वेरी डायरेक्ट एंड इजी क्वेश्चन सो थर्टीन क्वेश्चन यू नो यू कैन सॉल्व इन इजली वन वन मिनट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स पर क्वेश्चन मैथ्स इज गोइंग टू टेक टाइम सो यू नो आई हैव केप्ट सम फोर मिनट्स अप्रोक्सिमेटली पर क्वेश्चन इन मैथ्स इन फिजिक्स ऑल्सो आई हैव अगेन केप्ट यू नो अराउंड थ्री मिनट्स पर क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर केमिस्ट्री ऑल्सो अराउंड थ्री मिनट्स पर क्वेश्चन ओके सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू adjust if you are strong or weak at some point okay but this timing strategy is very important this is what usually students like to follow and you will get 47 marks 47 47 47 now obviously if your biology is weak it will go down here but chemistry or physics or maths is strong please go above 50 okay so i'm making this very clear i put equal weightage here but obviously somebody's bio might be weak so you might go to 40 marks here then obviously you have to go above 55 over in other subjects to compensate for that but this is something which should be there in your mind now when you give more and more mock tests it will be very very obvious how the uh, timing strategy you know the weightages are going to work out so that is very important or else you will be shocked what to do you will just be chumma solving but you will not score the safe marks needed for getting a seat okay if you don't answer anything zero marks are there so that's how you will get 188 marks which is a safe score you know to get a seat definitely in iza everybody clear give me a thumbs up guys if this much point is clear everyone yeah okay now going ahead physics questions are very conceptual and they are moderately challenging and they are uh, you know uh, as difficult as the old je mains pattern uh, slightly lower than that sometimes and uh, you can say some questions are definitely going to be challenging if you look at chemistry chemistry is again going to be mix you cannot say organic weightage is more or inorganic is more or this is more they can change the pattern any time but i will show you some important chapters which you can definitely study okay expect equal weightages approximately and yes 11th and 12th standard weightages are similar so don't think only 12th standard questions will come or only 11th will be asked no it's a mixed bag it's completely ncert based syllabus maths the questions are very conceptual and they require good level of understanding and they are above the mains level okay physics most of the times you will find it is above mains uh, uh, below mains level but there are some good questions also in physics okay let me tell you that so you will have to spend some time especially some calculative questions will come or some you know proper research questions will come there you will need lot of time biology is always the easiest it is lower than the neat level is that clear everything is ncert based now which are the important topics in chemistry thermo equilibrium kinetics electro बॉन्डिंग कॉर्डिनेशन एल्कोल फिनोल इथर आइडियाड कीटोन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एल्को हेलो एल्केन्स एंड हेलो अरिंग्स इन फिजिक्स मैकेनिक्स द एंटायर थिंग वेव्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ वेव्स थर्मोडायनामिक्स ग्रेविटेशन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स ई एम आई रे वेव एंड न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स इफ यू डू दिस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ गुड स्कोर इन केस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स बेसिक मैथ्स सीक्वेंस सीरीज मैट्राइस डिटर्मिनेंट्स रिलेशन फंक्शन प्रॉबिलिटी डेरीवेटिव कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरीवेटिव क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन यू नो ऑल दिस integration this is usually the most important units from mathematics in biology diversity of life biomolecules evolution genetics molecular biology animal physiology uh, then you have cell biology plant biology ecology human health and diseases these are the most important chapters now what are the main things that you should keep in mind based on the previous year cutoffs and based on the previous year papers first thing if you are just going to give the test thinking i will just read the theory or have prepared for mains or have prepared for advance and then i can just go and write the exam you are completely wrong never ever do that giving the test directly may not be enough timing yourself and strategize this slide remember which i just showed you this is very important and you should know it before you go to the exam hall because in the exam hall you will be tense you do not know what is going to happen so you should know which subject i am going to start first which subject is my strong point which subject i am going to give which time else the time will run out and you will be left with one or two subjects be careful giving mock tests is very very important meaning not just pyq see you have to solve a lot of pyq so that you understand a difficulty level or else you will be shocked oh this kind of questions are asked oh this is can this be asked is this possible is this going to be this easy is it going to be this hard so you need to know which questions to leave see if the paper only is very hard you cannot say oh i will leave the uh, all the hard questions so if you know what to expect you know which one to solve first which one to leave first which one to come back is this expected is this the pattern the model of the questions that's why pyqs are very important but just doing pyqs just reading theory one shots no 
not possible. That's why you have to give mock tests. This is the common mistake which many JA aspirants do. Okay, they directly go to the exam hall or they have just done PYQs and in the exam you are fumbling, you do not know what to do. But a properly strategized person who has followed some kind of strategy like this, he knows, okay, I have to start with, okay, maybe biology first. It's easy. I will finish it within 15, 20 minutes. Okay. I will directly jump to maths. Then I'll go to physics, then chemistry. Usually I tell you, go start with biology, then go with chemistry, then maths and physics. Or if you are not liking that, then biology, maths, physics, chemistry. But then chemistry usually has scoring topics. So if you can... Try to solve chemistry and biology first, then go to physics and mathematics, okay? Mathematics is usually the toughest, so you might lose a lot of time over there. That's why giving mock tests which are non-PYQ based is very, very important. So, sir, where do I give these mock tests? We have an amazing set of mock tests specially designed for IAT, okay? Now, these mock tests are 10 in number and they come in the following CBT format. You will get the question. You can jump to any question. They are the same pattern difficulty as the IIT 2025 exam. And then after attempting, you will get your score, your accuracy, how much time you took per question, how which topics are strong, which topics are weak, a performance analysis report card will be there along with your ranking, everything out there. Then you can also see how is the class performance? How is the average person doing? How is the topper doing? So you get a fair idea. And already since... You know, like hundreds of students are giving these kind of examinations. So you can judge appropriately. Otherwise, Chumma, if you download PDF from the internet and solve, you do not know where you stand. Your ranking is important. What is the class performance like? And since we have hundreds of students, you get a fair enough idea of how the people are doing it. You also get solutions of all the mock tests question wise uh, along with the timing that you have spent and which question options you have marked. Was it correct? Was it incorrect? Or have you not marked it only? So this complete analysis comes. And this is actually a part of the, you know, extra mile test series, which is a collection of all the test series, okay, which is there for a beautiful price of just 1299. But some students will be like, no, sir, I just want IIT preparation. And can you give me the test for that? Well, the link is there in the description box of this particular video. You can see uh, this is your extra mile or last mile test series, which is a collection of all the test series. Okay, that link is there below. But many students would want, you know, just the IAT examination. So that IAT examination is right over here. You can see ISER aptitude test, 10 mock tests for 649 rupees. Yes, ISER aptitude test series 2025, 10 full syllabus tests, performance analysis with the exact same pattern and difficulty as per the latest curriculum of ISER aptitude test. Okay, so you can go ahead, check out this link, use this buy full course option. You can use any of the payment gateways like, you know, credit, debit, UPI, net banking, wallets, okay. Already the coupon would be applied. You would have saved already 72 rupees almost. And the price is just 649 for all these 10 mock tests. Please don't download any random PDFs which are not of that same quality or not going to give you the analysis or give you the ranking or give you that exam temperament because that strategy if you can't apply it in the exam, then it's of no use. That's why I give the mock test. So that's my humble request to all the students out there. So my dear students, I hope that this particular video was very, very useful. And uh, with this, you will be able to crack the IIT exam in the last couple of days. If you are a J Advanced aspirant, then prepare J Advanced first priority. If you are not so confident of J Advanced, then go for IIT. But if you are thinking, oh no, I, I take it on my ego and I'm going to just do J advance, but you're not so confident of J advance, then, you know, you can think of alternative exams. But also keep in mind that ISER aptitude test is purely research oriented. And if you're not interested in research, then you should definitely stick to engineering. Okay, so all these things should be there in your mind. You cannot just think I will secure a very high paying job in ISER. Okay, the aptitude the purpose of this program is completely different. Okay. So thank you so much. I hope you love this. Smash that like button. And if you want anything more, if you want me to conduct a mock test, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. If you want me to conduct a mock test for this. Bye-bye. Take care.